remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. Guys, we're gonna do an epoxy pour to create exotic stone the easy way. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step right now how we use a plethora of additives to create a high-end exotic stone look over old wood. Check this out, I'm gonna use Stone Coat Countertop Epoxy. I'm gonna use a few spray paints. I'm gonna use white, black, and cobalt blue. From Stone Coat Countertops, our metallic powders, what we're gonna use is our, our diamond dust. This is a high-end reflective matter that makes your piece really pop. And then I'm gonna use our Blue Earth Metallic, I'm gonna use our Crater Lake Blue Metallic. From Alumalite, I'm gonna use some of their dyes. I'm gonna use their Ocean Blue Translucent, their Red Translucent dye, and then I'm gonna use two opaque dyes, the black and the white. Then I'm gonna use their Cotton Candy Metallic, their Interference Blue, and guess what? I'm gonna use glow powder. This is gonna up level it so it has some interest at nighttime. Guys, I'm gonna mix this all up in a cup. I'm gonna sand the piece. I'm gonna tape the perimeter. The reason we tape the perimeter is to catch the excess epoxy. This technique, we're gonna tilt this board. We're gonna move it around and that's gonna give us this exotic look the easy way. That's the secret sauce. Stay tuned, enjoy the video. Guys, all we've done here is applied two coats of paint and primer in one. We're gonna wipe the dust after we sand this with 220 grit. It's easy to prep your boards. This is actually MDF, it's wood, and we're gonna make it look like exotic stone. Have you seen our other videos where we use this technique? You're really gonna get inspired. I mean, check this out. I did these two samples in a matter of minutes, and it was the same exact cup that I poured, just a black base and a gray base. It's so versatile, whatever colors that you have in your space, Match them, and you're gonna have marble that blows your mind. Guys, pro tip, we warmed our epoxy up in front of a space heater. This allows it to flow with ease and mix even easier. That's a pro tip for your wintertime tool tips. Guys, have you seen our other videos where we've done some extremely large kitchen projects? If you were gonna do this in a big space, you couldn't do it all at once. You'd have to repeat the process. So how do you do that? You simply just mix up the same additives, you pour them in whatever fashion you want because you're using the same flavor or the same recipe, it's gonna match each other. You know, in exotic stone, not every piece is identical and that's exactly what you want. You want uniqueness that can't be repeated but that can be emulated so it matches in a kitchen. That's a pro tip. Also. Punch perfectionism in the face. Have fun with your color palette. I'm using 10 colors, can you believe it? And it's gonna come out elegant. Let's get started. Next step, we're gonna mix the colors in vigorously and we'll pour everything into its own cup. This allows all the colors to kind of mix a little bit, but not over mix so that when we pour them out, it does the magic for you. Here we go. We did a perimeter of tape. The reason we did that is so that we don't waste any material. We mixed up a little more than necessary so that we wouldn't have to over tilt the project. That's a key, you know, we're gonna like what we l see immediately. And if we wanna save that, you don't wanna over tilt this. But if you, if you skimp on material, it doesn't have enough to flow. Look at that cotton candy. Popping, man. I'm getting hungry for cotton candy. Look at that. That's translucent red, right? Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it, man. The ultimate dirty pork countertop. 10 different colors. What colors are we working with? Interference blue, cotton candy. Look at that. I got. Blue Earth, Crater Lake Blue, Diamond Dust, Translucent Red. And I'm going about a quarter of the cup or so, Mike. Okay. Oh, wow. By adding some spray paint in here, we'll create cells. Okay? So I love adding that. <laughs> I love the uh, glow in the dark. Did somebody say glow in the dark? Remember, we added that powder. Check it out. You know, Mitch, if you add any translucent dye to this glow in the dark, it takes on that color glow in the dark. You basically make an infinite number of glow in the dark oh, colors. Oh, I see, you can tint it. Yeah. That's outstanding. 
you know, there's really no method to this madness. We just, we're just adding the colors into the bucket, right? There. Guys, we got the edges taped temporarily, and that's so, uh, that's so we can tilt this thing without losing epoxy over the edges. When you spray that spray paint in, you could watch it affect your, your batch here. Yeah, it starts like bringing it to life nearly. That already looks cool. Same colors, totally different. Look at that. But look at the layers building up. Yeah. So we're gonna get a, so, so we're gonna do a wandering ring pour. Cool. Okay, mixed media girl. She taught us how to do that with an acrylic pour. Right, right. We're that gonna do fun. the same thing in epoxy. And I'm only going about maybe a third of the center and then wandering ring. Cool. And, and we'll try to, we, we got pretty close to equal amounts. And so I need to go over half a little. You kind of meet, meet me in the middle and we'll, we'll play ball. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Is yours just as cool as mine? Yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry for getting in your way. Oh, scrape her out? That's yeah, why idea. not? Right. You know, just lubricate the board a little bit. Okay, you ready to tilt? So guys, it's building up at our tape there. So we're just gonna run that downhill. And honestly, if, if you take it as simple as this, is just basically utilize your material where you need it and cover the board first and then kind of think about everything else later. Okay, I like it. See, I'm coming to the edge here and I'm giving you material down there. Right. All right, let's stop and let's now heat up the sections again right here mm -hmm. that need to come back. Let's no. heat up kind of mm -hmm. kind of this half. This down? Yeah, and see what and, happens. And we don't want to tilt it too far where you get like drips on drips. You almost got to break the surface tension where it's holding up. This looks like a giant agate right here. Can you believe how beautiful this is? And is this a technique that you would want to match? Let's rub those edges out. The epoxy is extremely self-leveling. So this is gonna move for us a little bit and uh, give us some even, I mean, the more that it moves, the more natural that it looks typically. And because we used different additives, this is just gonna keep, keep kind of fighting one another in the different additives and create effects that would take you hours to emulate if you tried to do it by hand. You know what's so cool about this, Mitch? Just, just substitute color. Exactly. Just substitute color and this effect is so natural and I mm -hmm. this is almost a yin and yang deal happening Yeah, you know, we, we went down turned the corner and came back It looks almost like a geode or an agate cut right in half with these with these designs and the layers of the of the different colors stacking up It's beautiful. Wow, and the lacing and cells That diamond dust that thing sparkles Pro tip if you had this piece in a showroom or you're doing this as a living you could actually have multiple different samples for a customer to choose from. So if they like this piece, you know you can come back and reference your notes and, and use mostly darker colors. If they like this piece, you go back and re reference your notes and take out a lot of the black. I could tell you right now, I used more black than Mitch did. Right. That's why my color is different. Right. But we didn't care. But if they only liked this half, mm -hmm. eliminate most of the black, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Um, if they like mostly this, it's, it's some gray and blue and white. We're gonna go out to the world of concrete. Guys, have you heard of the world of concrete? It's gonna be February 4th through the 7th. We're gonna be live doing demos. A couple times a day, right? Four times a day. I, I, maybe more, you know? <laughs> That's gonna be uh, We're gonna meet up with Rhonda Dr Draculis, the coolest. She's from RK3 Designs. She's gonna pour with us. We're gonna have guests come. We're gonna uh, probably include the audience. We're gonna do hands-on training. And it's awesome. gonna be free at our booth 
to learn how to do this uh, in living color. Las Vegas Convention Center. And if you don't make it to that, come to the Artisan Summit. It's gonna be even cooler than the world of concrete. And we're <laughs> gonna teach you step by step how to turn your craft into cash. Guys, we mimicked Mother Nature. We had a blast. Did you have a blast? I had a great time. Look at this piece. I can't believe how easy it was. Visit us at StoneCoatCountertops.com to see all the products used in this video. And remember, until next time, you, you got, got this. this. We'll, we'll see, see you on the next video. Boom. Did we seriously just make that? Guys, do you want to learn where all these products are found? Go to StoneCoatCountertops.com on our additives page. All of these additives are found on our website, and you can mimic Mother Nature and create exotic stone. We'll see you there. Click that link. Go right now. Do it and share it with your friends. See you there.